G'day, it's Pete here and I'm back again to test your defense again. Uh, this one, another problem from Dormer on deduction by Albert Dormer. Fantastic book. It's got problems on deductive reasoning for both declare play and defense, but I wanted to focus on some more of the defensive problems. So uh, we'll jump in and take a look at this one. Uh, so here we've got this pretty mundane hand here and the auction starts off with a diamond, and then uh, they bid a heart, and it goes one no trump and three no trump. So often when you're defending, uh, it can be really tricky when you don't have a good plan. So uh, here, there's not a lot to go on. I think there's a few reasonable leads. You could come up with arguments for all the suits. We've got a sequence in diamonds with jack 10, nine, but ace bid diamonds. We've got queen jack third club. We've got spades, no one's bid spades. It's kind of a bit hard to know where you're gonna do. And when you're defending and aren't actually sure what your plan can be, a really strong thing that you can be doing is to work out what's Declarer going to do. And once you work out what Declarer is trying to do, just try and do the opposite of that or try and counter that. Now, uh, here uh, they lead the uh, Jack of Diamonds in the book. I think there's a but you could argue for sort of any uh, lead here, really. Uh, but the first trick goes queen, uh, three, and five. So here, a um, couple of things. I want you to pause, work out what you know from the auction here, uh, what's actually going on. And then also, what do we know from uh, what happened at trick one? So the queen one, partner played the three, and Clara played low. Um, so what's actually going on here? Take your time. Whenever you're defending, it's worthwhile trying to uh, piece together a few things uh, at trick one to build an idea of the hand. And now uh, it Clara plays a club over to the ace. And what does that actually tell you about defense? What is Declara actually doing here? So they've crossed over to the ace of clubs what can they be trying to actually achieve? So uh, what do you expect them to do? Where do you, what do you think they're gonna be trying to do? And now they lead a heart. So here, I, I, to me, what Declara is doing is really unusual. Um, like, why did they play a club to the ace to play a heart? Like if you're leading hearts to this really solid suit, what's like, if if the king was missing, it would make total sense of why they, they crossed in, in clubs. It would say that they're there to try and take a finesse, but the hearts are solid. What are they trying to do? Also, why are they crossing in the clubs? Um, they didn't take a finesse in clubs. They're not trying to build tricks in clubs. So what does that actually convey about um, the club suit to you. These are all questions that when you're a little bit lost for what you should be doing on the defense, you can piece together what Declarer is trying to do, can really highlight what's going on. So I want you to pause the video, try and get all that together and work out what is Declarer actually doing? What do we know about this hand? What should actually happen here? So, here, we let the Jack of Diamonds and the Queen won the first trick. So straight away, I'd be going, okay, Declara's got the Ace, King of Diamonds. And then they played a club to the Ace. Now, this would be really strange if they didn't have any uh, follow-up club play um, because uh, they didn't take a finesse in clubs. They're not trying to build tricks in clubs. They were just getting to the East hand to lead up to like these semi-solid, like the solid hearts, Ace, King, Queen. So there's something that they want to do by leading from the east hand. And the only thing that makes sense is they want to duck a heart to your partner. And if you think, okay, east has shown 12 to 14 points in a balanced hand. I've got the ace king of diamonds. I've got the ace of clubs. They probably have something else in clubs, either length or the king of clubs, because they've just opened up the club suit to not do much here, but lead towards the ace king queen of hearts. Now, the only reason for that is maybe there's a danger hand on this. Maybe that if you're on lead, you can attack something. And what could that be? Well, that could be the spade suit. So they're trying really hard to keep the south player off lead. And if you played low, 
what they'll be doing is just sticking in a low heart, letting North win, hoping to get uh, the Ace King of Clubs, the Ace King Queen of Diamonds, and four heart tricks. So how can we prevent that? Well, if we uh, back up, what we can do is actually we can just hop up with this, our tent. These hearts look rather innocuous. They're not doing anything. But what it means is they can't afford to duck the first heart to our partner. And I'll open up all the cards here. So here, if you hop up with the ten of hearts, this actually uh, kills um, the dummy. So if hearts were 3-3, three, three, they could get five heart tricks. If hearts are 4-2, they can afford to duck a heart to the north player, but we can actually... Because uh, they can't attack spades, whereas if the south player's on lead, they can attack spades and get tricks that way. By hopping up with the 10, they can't duck this first heart because we can attack spades too quickly. And if they take the ace, king, queen of hearts, when they don't break, they can't get to their long heart and they don't actually have that fifth trick here. So the unusual play of east of leading up to the ace of clubs just to lead towards these hearts that don't need to be led to, it looks like, highlights that there's actually something deeper going on. They're actually trying to duck a trick to our partner. And when you're the danger hand, you can sometimes pop with some high cards to make life really difficult. There's a saying, danger hand high, where if you're the danger hand, if you just put in some intermediate cards where they can't afford to duck it, it can make life really difficult for entries and communication or letting the safe hand win tricks. And here, popping up with the Ten of Hearts actually means that they can't make this contract. They can't duck this, they can't get their all their hearts, and then they won't come to nine tricks. If they do duck the, the heart, we have to lead the Jack of Spades. We have to think, okay, we really are the danger hand, something dangerous is happening, and then we can actually get four spades straight away. And all of this is based on the inference of what is Declara doing. If you can work that out, sometimes you can work out some really deep plays and cool hands. So I really love this hand. Hope you did too. A uh, really instructive one. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.